is the revamping of Alberta's health services, the AHS. You know, like most provinces in this country, you're facing doctor shortage, nurses burnout, paramedic turnover. Those are dominant storylines, but also ERs are becoming a catch-all for health care. Your plan is to split the service into four agencies, primary care, acute care, continuing care, and mental health and addiction. And some in the health care field in Alberta feel that splitting them is going to create more problems than they're experiencing now by, by lack of contact between these different agencies. How does splitting it help when it took 15 years to centralize it? Well, I think it's because of an issue of focus. Alberta Health Services should be focused on acute care. And because they're an, essentially our, our main acute care provider, all roads lead to an emergency room. So if you don't have a family doctor, you go to an emergency room. If you are awaiting placement in long-term care, you're waiting in a hospital. If you have a mental health issue, an emergency room. If you have um, a, uh, an addiction issue or homelessness, you go to an emergency room. We can't, we can't keep doing this. We have to have other ways of being able to treat patients. So our reforms start with the idea that every person in the province should have access to a family practitioner, whether that's a doctor or a nurse practitioner. That will take one of the loads off. We're also building out our mental health and addiction treatment beds. So we're getting 10 recovery communities for addiction and five communities for mental health. That will give another alternative place to get appropriate treatment. And we're going to make sure that we do not have people who are languishing in hospital beds who should be in long-term care. Right now, we just got an, uh, a recent update. We have 488 people who shouldn't be in hospital. They're just waiting for placement in long-term care. When you have that many patients in acute care, it ends up backing into the emergency rooms, backing into the hallways, and then backing into the back of ambulances. And that's a, that's a management issue. That is not a staffing issue. Our frontline workers are working so hard under a system that has continued to, to underperform because of bad management. And that's what we're working on. It's the reason why we made major changes at the senior level of management. We are now working through our various layers of managers. And if they can't demonstrate that they're adding value and making the life easier for the frontline workers, mm -hmm. then they're not going to continue to be employed by AHS. We can't continue to have this kind of mediocre result, creating such difficulty for patients and difficulty for our frontline workers. So that's the reason why we're doing the refocusing.